Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Sari Maji. In this After Effects video, we are going to make an arrow always pointing at one object's direction. In this case, it's a star. If I move the star around the viewport, you can see the arrow uh, always pointing at its direction. No matter where it is positioned, uh, even uh, outside the viewport, the arrow always following it. And uh, this can be done in both 2D and 3D layers. This is the example of 2D layer. And if you want to see the 3D example, here it is. Uh, if uh, these both things are 3D, so if I move the star, 3D star in 3D space, it always following it. You can see if I move it in G space, the R always following it. So you can easily do this effect inside the After Effects. If, even if you are a beginner, if you follow this uh, video from begin to end without skipping any part that's the important thing to do because the 2d layer and 3d layer uses different methods to achieve this effect <coughs> so if you are a new person visiting my channel subscribe consider subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get every update i made in my channel so let's get into the video right now all right Welcome back. As I said, this is the very easy to do thing in After Effects. Uh, but with the comparison of these two, the 3D effect is very 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 easy when comparison with the 2D uh, project. Um, that doesn't mean 2D project is uh, kind of difficult. Uh, you have, if you want to understand the things, what the things going on. You need to have a little bit mathematical knowledge um, to understand this thing. If you don't understand any of these things, don't worry. You just have to follow this tutorial without skipping any part from begin to end. And it, you will just achieve it uh, without having knowledge in mathematical things. So let's get started. Uh, before start the tutorial, let me tell you if you have any doubt what are the buttons I am pressing in my keyboard and mouse You can always look at the top right over here uh, You can see all the keyboard shortcuts I am pressing and no shortcuts over here So let me create a new composition Let me name it Look at At uh, 2D Let me create that look at 2D and name it this tutorial what happened to me? <laughs> Tutorial and make it as a 1080p. That's okay. Duration as you want. And we got a new composition. Now we have to make an object. Let me create a star. If you don't see a star over here, the, let's just long press this rectangle icon. You will see a star. And <coughs> excuse me. And uh, you need to click and hold and drag the star. If you don't see the star, uh, just hold the left mouse button as you created this and scroll up the mouse wheel button once or twice and if you press the shift, it will align at the vertical side. If you press this layer, you can see the anchor point always placed on the middle of the composition. Whenever you create a new shape layer, the anchor point will always be placed on the middle of the composition. But we need this anchor point to the middle of this uh, shape layer. So we can easily use this uh, pan behind tool to move this anchor point to the middle. We cannot make uh, it uh, accurate. So we can use this move anchor point tool. It is a third party tool. It won't be av available with the After Effects. You need to download. Uh, the version 3 is free I guess, uh, version 2 is free, so you just have to select the layer and press the middle button, you will have it in the middle, uh, even if you don't find the link to download this uh, move anchor point tool, you just have to delete this shape layer and go here edit and preferences, these are the additional tips, this is not included with the tutorial, uh, just make it general. Click the general. Uh, inside the general pan, you can see the center anchor point in the new shape layer. Make sure you enable it and press OK. Once you press OK, if you create a new shape layer right now and let it go, the anchor point always placed on the middle. So we can move it anywhere as, as we want. So 
let me select the layer and move it otherwise i will keep the anchor point outside if i select the selected the poly star so make sure you select the, select the layer and move the layer so the anchor point move with it so now we have to create a arrow mark for that we need to create a rectangle select the rectangle tool make sure your layer is not selected if you drag a new thing over here it will create a new rectangle inside the inside this layer so make sure you unselected it and drag a new rectangle so it will create a new shape layer with a rectangle so make sure uh, we name, rename it as star so let me name it as star so we got a rectangle now we, do, we need to make a arrow so again go to the star and click the star now we have to make the star within the rectangle layer so make sure you selected it and draw a star now we have to make a make it as a triangle so scroll down while holding the arrow uh, left mouse button so holding the shift button you can easily place it on the right position so then leave it once you leave it your shape layer to have a two shapes so now we have to move this shape layer towards here so select the move layer move tool and selection tool and double click this one so it will be soloed up i mean if you, you can easily move this thing alone so now you have to go here as you see this rotation tool and press shift and press and hold shift and double click and you have to first drag it and then press shift hold shift to make it as a 45 degree increment so we have to place this thing over here now we got an arrow it is not perfectly positioned arrow so let me drag it down a little bit it's okay no problem we just place it right position now we have the anchor point at the north at the middle so for this kind of things we need to use this small anchor point we don't have this thing just to pan behind select the pan behind tool and make a selection as possible no matter this is the point where the arrow rotation so you can even place it here so the rotation will be take place from here so i like it to be here <coughs> so this is our setup make it as arrow name it as arrow a r r o w Okay, let me collapse this everything. Okay, now we have an arrow, we have a star. So let me select the selection tool and make sure before you create any expression on this arrow layer, your arrow always looking at the right side of your composition. Otherwise, it won't work. Uh, this effect won't work. So make sure your arrow looking at the right side. <coughs> and then you need to select both the layers and press p to reveal the position of both layers now we have to make sure we selected the arrow and press and hold the shift and press r for rotation we need to get the rotation and position of arrow we need to get the star position over here so now what do we have to do what we have to do is we need to write the expression inside the rotation of this arrow so press and hold the alt button and uh, click the left mouse button in the stopwatch we have the expression over here so now we have to calculate the distance between the anchor point of the arrow to the stop anchor point so x and y distance we need to calculate the x distance and y distance between do these two objects so first calculate x distance equals what we have to do is just drag this pick whip to the star layer okay star x position only x you have to pick whip to the x position not the position you just need to drop it here you will have the position open parenthesis 0 plus the buckets okay then space minus you have to pick whip, pick whip to the x position of this arrow just leave it as it is then 
semi put a semicolon and then we need to calculate the way there way distance way distance equals same as before we have to equip to the way distance space minus and then we need to put the x distance of the arrow itself <coughs> then put semicolon now we have the distance uh, both the distance between the arrow anchor point to the star anchor point so now we can calculate the radians between them radians is nothing but calculating the degree degree, uh, degree and radians are related by 2 pi so these are the mathematical term terminology so don't worry if you don't know what is radians what is degree just type uh, radians or whatever you want it's just a variable equals we need to type math dot a tan 2 within the brackets uh, you need to call y distance first distance you need to type y distance first and then comma x distance make sure you type the y distance first or uh, it will not work you can keep space or you can you will leave the space semicolon and we have the radians value right now now we have to convert the radians to the degree so type radians to degree uh, so we have we have the radians value so just copy and paste it here once you press away the arrow always looking at the direction that's how you can do this effect in 2d <coughs> uh, if you want to uh, animate this uh, star go to the star position and star click the alt button and click the stopwatch wiggle type wiggle and open this is the basic thing one comma thousand press enter you can see the arrow always following it this is how you can make this thing or okay so we have done this effect in 2d now move to 3d i don't want to waste my time to recreate this uh, arrow mark uh, by doing this tutorial so i just already created this uh, look at 3d tutorial over here so i'm just uh, going to show you how you can make it uh, to follow this uh, 3d star in 3d space in after effects so Make sure you, uh, you have a uh, 3D layers. Uh, let me show you by adding the camera. Uh, if I add the camera and uh, if I rotate it, you can see this layer is 3D. I just pre-composed that bunch of 3D arrow marks. Uh, you can see it here. And I just press the collapse transformation transformation tool to get the infra 3D information inside the pre-com to the camera. So we don't need this camera anymore. I just wanted to show you how it's work. So we, we have the 3D arrow mark uh, which is pointing to the right side and uh, we have the um, we have the star. Uh, no matter star, where is star, you just need to press the star anywhere you want. A star or any object uh, you created. Uh, it could be anywhere. In 2D effect, you, your arrow must pointing at the right side before applying any uh, expression. Uh, in 3D, your uh, arrow should for pointing at the Z direction in the negative side. So what you have to do is go to arrow and press R for rotation. It will reveal the all rotation properties. So what you have to do is in Y, uh, you need to drag the arrow mark to the Z direction in negative Z. So it is minus 90 for this case because the arrow was pointing at the right direction so in order to turn this arrow towards the z direction to the negative we need to type minus 90 degree so it will pointing at the opposite direction from you so now we are good to go to apply this uh, expression what you have to do is in 2d you just press the alt and uh, the stopwatch to the rotation property in this case you need to apply this expression to the orientation property before uh, you call the expression writer you just need to select both these layers press shift and 
T for reveal this position and reveal the position to the star press the star and press P you will see the position position and the rotation for this uh, arrow mark now in arrow orientation press and hold alt and press this here now you have to just type L O O K capital A T at and open and close parenthesis inside the parenthesis you just need to drag this value or position value of the value of this arrow first and let it go comma and then position value of the star in uh, of your object whatever you use and drag it to the position don't uh, just point the x and y or z uh, position just call the position as it is and click away once you click away the arrow uh, just looking at the looking at the 3d star if you can turn it other side you can see the star uh, arrow is following it if you drag the star in z direction you can see the arrow always looking at its direction this is how you can make uh, this effect in 3d guys no matter if, even if you use element 3d you just need to apply the same uh, expression to the orientation don't apply the x rotation just have whatever element you have uh, with the orientation property you, you can just apply the look at direction uh, only thing is the object you are using as a arrow should looking at the z direction before applying this uh, look at expression make sure that and then apply this uh, expression to the look at uh, orientation so it will look at the object you want you want it to follow so that's how you have to do this thing in 3d guys i hope this tutorial helped you helped you a lot if you like this video like the hit the like button if you dislike this video hit the dislike button make sure you made single comment to this channel or this video to keep this channel alive your comments make me give me the revenue so don't forget to comment if you like or dislike this video hope you will get benefited by this video guys uh, if if you didn't follow my channel I, I mean if you didn't subscribe my channel yet hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you will get every updates I made in my channel thank you for watching have a nice day guys bye